the final week of the season then we'll kick off with the long distance handicap hurdle which is a three mile handicap hurdle and we've got a full list of the runners now the top one is Return of the Ghost for Joshua Sutherland. Sourced up Ryan Tomasevi, Cloud Mambo for Craig Allen, Brig Gorn, Graham Clutterbuck, Equator, Paul Rhodes, Harley Jules, David Robertson, Ernest Stravinsky, Paul Rhodes, Tamanarko, Gift, Darren Thompson, French Vacation, Leon Van Rinsburg, Daddy Anne McRae, Alex Cherry and Scenario Woodfire for Thomas Rogers. So 11 of them then in this week 13 opener. They're away and racing and heading towards the first of the flights of hurdles in this one with the grey return of a ghost over on the far rail, the early leader being joined by Equator and the green and yellow has now gone on making their way towards the first of the ten with a lead of about a couple of lengths then Equator is the one that's going to lead them into the first the rest of them being held up behind as they get to it and over it they go, they're also familiar with Tamanako Gift the early back marker, the Equator is putting his best foot forward in front and is now a good four or five lengths clear of the remainder are pretty tightly packed we had sourced it up, probably just showing in second place. They're making their way down towards the second of the ten now, then, with Equator clear in front by probably five lengths as he gets to it and gets over it nicely from Ernest Stravinsky. The stable made a landed in second. Return of the Ghost, the grey over on the inside, was probably just third ahead of Daddy Ama Crane. Between the two of them, Harling Jules. The centre is sourced up and wide on the track. Brigaunt as they continue on their way towards the third of the ten flights where the equator comfortably in the lead over the over the third. We're all safely over that one. With the equator in front, stable mate Ernest Stravinsky second. Sources up is now clear third with Brigaunt fourth. Then Daddy Ama Cray with Harling Jules and that one's inside. Return of the Ghost is still on the rail. French Vacation is just about in shuffle to the back. towards the home straight for the first complete time and another circuit to go for this one and the equator leads over the fourth and safely over that one all hurdling well most of these probably making their last appearance in the S07 league with the season ending after this week they say one or two might make it back next season but that's not likely for many of them more than I thought and the equator is the Leader at this stage, by about four lengths to Ernest Stravinsky second, then sorted up his third and Brigorn is fourth. And there's a good gap of five lengths then to the rest of them, and they're headed by Howling Jules and also Cloud Mambo as they get over flight number five. And then also, if over that one, the Scenario Woodfire, the one running widest on the track in the two shades of green. But he quotes the leader and has been all the way so far as so they get to this light in front of the stands with the equator in the lead right, source it up second and then bring corner in fact they've already taken the one in front of the stands there's the winning post and they're going to swing left handed now then for a complete circuit of the track and equator is still three or four lengths clear but Gorn is now moved into second source it up on the outside of Ernest Stravinsky and those are well clear Four or five lengths of Tamanarko Gift who's making a bit of a forward move. Daddy Anne McRae still going well on the rail. Tucked in behind that one is Cloud Mambo and Harlan Jules. Return of the Ghost has lost its place from early on and is now towards the back along with French Vacation. And Scenario Woodfire is still the back marker. So over the sixth they go. And all over that one, okay. And just four more to take then now. And Stravin um, Equator is clear off stable mate Stravinsky in second. Then Brigaunt and source it up. Daddy Hammer Craig, Tamanarko Gift, Turn of the Ghost now making a bit of progress. The only grey in the field. So they're racing towards the fourth last then now. They skip over the fourth last. They're all safe near with that one and they're racing into the final mile of the race with Equator. Showing the way by two to three lengths to Brigaunt on the outside of Sourced Up is on the outside of Ernest Stravinsky. They're queuing up behind though with Tamanarko Gift Return of the Ghost, Daddy Hammer Cray and Harling Jules all appear to be going exceptionally well. Bit of a gap then to Cloud Mamba and French Vacation who are far from out of it and Scenario Woodfire, the back marker, is still in contention as well as they take the third last. And over that one they go, they're all safely to the other side of it as they have been 
all eight of the spots they've taken so far. And Equator is two lengths clear, but Daddy Armour Cray is now coming through to challenge in second. Tamanaka Gift still going ominously well on the outside. Saucy Lux coming under pressure. Return of the Ghost is doing its best to get itself boxed in. Scenario Woodfire is the only one that looks beaten. And there's two, two flights still to take, and this is the second last. And over it, they got a really good jump there by Tamanaco Gift. Sees that one come to within a length of the leader, but Equator's still got that lead and is kicking on again. And it's Equator still in front from Tamanaco Gift. Then sources up now, sweeping around the outside. French Vacation looks a big threat coming down towards this final flight. And Equator's in the lead, but now French Vacation looms on the outside. Cloud Mambo's also trying to get into it. And they're racing down towards the final two and a half furlongs of the final flight. Return of the Ghost is now also coming through as well. And the big guns are all back to the fore. And it's French Vacation who hits the front over the final flight, French Vacation lands in the lead, Return of the Ghost is second, Equator now looks beaten, Tamanaco Gift still trying to run, Cloud Mambo and Saucy Duck looking a little bit one pace but French Vacation is in the lead and he's pushing on now in front and he's being pressed by Return of the Ghost and Tamanaco Gift, it's still French Vacation in the lead and inside the final furlong, French Vacation looks to be going well enough, Tamanaco Gift and Return of the Ghost are trying to close but they're not getting close enough and up towards the line, French Vacation is going to take it, Return of the Ghost is going to be second then Tamanaco Gift third holding Jules from off a fourth in Daddy McCray and all the way back to Scenario Woodfire but it's a win for French Vacation and Leon van Rensburg sat out in the back for most of the race and then struck in the straight so French Vacation the winner for Leon van Rensburg return of the ghost Joshua Sutherland was second Tamanaco Gift Darren Thompson third Harling Jules for David Robertson, fourth, and Daddy Amacrae for Alex Cherry was fifth.